the purpose of this little <coughs> mini video, <coughs> excuse me, is to just talk about how you can come up with the tables and the entities and relationships required in a database from reading business rules. Entities and tables are the same thing. In this case, we have business rules for a database for a, a bookseller. And we've got four business rules. In these four business rules, we need to unearth what the tables or entities are and what the relationship that they, is that they share with other tables. In this key, case, in number one, it says each customer can place many orders over a time, but each order is placed by only one customer. Well, a table is generally a, a thing about which you can collect multiple pieces of information over time. It's usually uh, a type of employee, a contract of some kind. Um, it's something tangible usually. And in this case, the two tangible items are the customer and the order right here. So I'm going to write down customer and order as two entities that have a relationship. And the business rule tells us that each customer can place many orders over time. So that we would go like this. We would say that the, the many is on the order side of the relationship and that each order is placed by only one customer, which means that the one side of the relationship is on the customer side. So what we would do here is we would write it out like this, one, two, many. Each customer is associated with many orders. Each customer is associated with many orders, but each order has only one customer. Each order has only one customer. That's If I wrote this out like this, M1, that would be wrong because that would imply that each customer is associated with one order, but an order can have many customers on it, and that isn't what happens in business practice. So this is the correct relationship right here. Let's go on to number two. <laughs> Each order may include many books, and a book may be included on many orders. Well, the two entities here are the books and the orders. So we would look at this and we'd say, well, each book can be on many orders, and an order can have many books. So that means that this is a many-to-many -many relationship. And based on what we learned in last week's lab and the videos I posted there, a many-to-many -many relationship can't exist in a database design relationship without adding a junction table. So you know that you're going to have three tables in this relationship, book, orders, and then a junction table called book orders. The next uh, point number three here, each book may have multiple authors and each author may have written many books. We have book and then we would have author as the second table. And the way it's worded, we have yet another many to many relationship because each book can have multiple authors and each author may have written many books. So that's another many to many relationship which means there's an implied junction table between these two tables as well. The next thing we need to look at here is publishers in books. Each book has only one publisher, but a publisher may publish many books. So that means we have book and we have publisher as the two tables in that relation in that relationship implied by this business rule. And when we look at it, it says each book has one publisher. So that means the one goes on the publisher position on the right, and the publisher may publish many books, which means the the, the many goes on the book side. So we would go M to one to model that relationship. One to M would be wrong because that would imply that each book has many publishers but a publisher can have only one book and that's not the way it works in common big business practice as well. So this is part one of the video that shows you how to resolve these types of relationships from reading through business rules. Uh, part two will then show you how to actually create these relationships in Microsoft Visio.